Good morning. In the afternoon. How are we doing? Thought I should pick a camera. I should have really picked it up before now, to be fair, but... Yeah. So, have a little catch up on what's going on. John's not here at the minute. He's currently off trucking, picking another van up. But he's got this one on the ramp. He's new brake servo, which is currently over there. So he's doing that. Also had a, well, we'll have to show you when it's back up. Had a uh, little rust hole on the subframe. Not quite sure what else that needs. We'll have to wait till he appears for that. And as you can probably hear in the background, Mr. Namo's busy on my ramp. But we won't interfere with him too much. As you can see, already done the seal. Seal. Now doing the arches and another random hole that's up there in the wing. Hello, Hi. Namo. Because you're old. Yes. Oh, now you stop doing that. You good? Yeah, man. Having fun? Working on the big girl today. Yeah, very big. Yeah. So he's up to that. So we're leaving him in peace. But I currently working on this. Already changed the alternator on it. I now need to change your fuel lines because I think one of them may be cracked. Because it's letting in some air. So that's my job. So I'm going to get on with this. Might leave you up here somewhere so you can have a little watch, but just pull this lot apart, get the fuel lines out, and replace them. Wish me luck. Well, you didn't really miss a lot, just me pulling the fuel lines out and dropping a bolt underneath the van, which was fun, because I had to push the van out of the way, because obviously I couldn't start it. Wow, there we go. You have literally just seen me pull this thing apart, replace that fuel line for this one i have literally just filled up the fuel filter because it was draining itself out and hopefully that will uh, actually solve that problem i'll run this thing up in a minute and check but fingers crossed that's actually dilly done did it dice just disappeared because you had to go pick up well one of the vans we were working on that is going dice has to go pick a customer up he is making good tracks on that. I'm going to run this thing up. Hopefully that thing's then fixed. And then I can see what else is getting done. Hopefully John will be back in a bit. So we can see what he's up to. Yeah. It's all go. Fun and game. So I'll put this down for now. Have a coffee. Get that thing done. And I'll see you in a moment. Have fun. Well, let's try and be a bit more proactive. We were literally just talking about how we should do a little bit more filming. And then I decided to not pick a camera up again. But the van that you've seen I was working on by there is there. That did slightly help, but it's still not how it should be. So that's a Ron problem. Later, Ron. I'm now over here. Even brought my toolbox. I'm over here now. As you can see, I have stripped the front end off. I've ripped this wing off as well. And got this thing a little bit more stripped so Dai can then do seals and arches over there. And just because I'm being helpful, also pull this one off. But there's a bit, well, all the factory glue is sort of being a bit of a pain. So I'm going to show you that. Mr. Namo, as you've seen earlier, he was uh, welding the arch and Stuff. stuff he's now starting to rebuild the arch and then the cell but he needs to put the door on to make sure that it's all going on properly So that's my line. I mean, the doors we just fit two minutes ago, we got to take off. We've got to unfit. Uh, 
put the doors back on again. Make sure the gaps are all right. Then we're gonna take the doors back off again. Do the welding. And then try sell. Try doors again. It's a door kind of day. Yeah. Especially because that's the only one. Yeah. Pain in, um... Normally, yeah. there, here. So it's a little bit more of a pain. It's definitely a two-man job. Yeah. Yeah. A bit more welding, a bit more grinding. And uh, this side will be that. So that's what Mr. Namo was up to. Playing with that. Hopefully we can catch a bit more of that getting rebuilt back up and being completed it. And then he can just copy and paste on the other side. And then copy and paste on <laughs> this one. The blue one is not copy and paste with the blue one. Oh uh, yeah. The yellow one too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to try and catch when Dai does that. Does the windscreen replace. Because that's gonna be interesting. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> It was fun wait. trying to get that out. Yeah. When me and Dai were getting that out, it was... Well, we got two. That one, there's another one over there. You can just see it by there. They were an absolute nightmare. Anyway, we're going to stop rambling. I'm going to help him do that. I'm going to pull that off, and I'll see you in a mo. And welcome to the next day. So, not a lot's changed so far, other than the fact... <laughs> Don's here today. Yes, you were out exploring yesterday. I thought this might be an interesting van to record because this is having poly bushing all the way through. John's already got one of the uh, bushes out. It's with a adapter tool man. Okay. And we're just gonna. And we're gonna. Just like that. One bushing removed. So that's what Mr. Jono's up to. Pulling all the bushes out of these. He has already done one. We've got a whole box of them. So already done this side. As you can see, he's now doing that one. Which is the one you just watched us do. And we've got many, many more. I say we, John. We've got anti roll bars. Upper, front arms. Yeah. Also got a few more bits and bobs, including a new anti roll bar. Which we will show you as we get to. But thought that would be quite interesting to show. Because. I'm interested. And it was also good to see Mr. John. So as John starts doing more, we'll keep popping back and forth and seeing what Mr. John's up to. Cause that's fun. So that van's gonna get fully polybushed. We seen what Dai was doing yesterday. He's, well, we put the door on, lined some stuff up, put the door on again. We've literally just took it off. So he's slowly rebuilding all this lot back up again. The van you did see me working on, that is now done and ready to be collected which is nice but my job well as you may or may not have seen yesterday i pulled this wing off and then i had to get up underneath and take all the sealant stuff off well that's done and i've just placed the wing back on just so it's there for safekeeping well today door off also it is central locking, so I've got to take the loom out, take the door off, pull all the trims out, which is partially already done, and then, mmm, yummy. Daddy's going to show me where I need to cut. I'm going to get all this lot cut out ready for when he comes over and does this. Because that's one step closer to this van being done. If I can be helpful, then so be it. 
So as he gets a little bit more onto that, we will uh, pick a camera up and have a little bit of a look. But I'm going to start pulling this apart. All I need to do now, you can just about see, spot weld, spot weld. I need to drill all of them out. And then he gave me a mark to cut. So I need to cut across there. And across that one. And across here. And underneath here. And then this bit. And this bit should all come out. So that is what I'm doing now. I don't bother recording that because it's literally me just drilling hundreds of holes. How's Mr. John doing on the poly bush job? Uh, back to all poly bush. Yeah, let's put some new brake pipes on because, because we had it all apart. Obviously, I had to disconnect them so we put a new one because they not that good. Resting out. So we change them. Oh, nice. Look at that. Mm. So, put the black back together. <laughs> and then we can tear the front part. Oh, I need roll So, we'll leave John to finish doing this bit. When John goes on to the front, we'll pick it up and we we'll try and catch a bit more of uh, the Polybush poly saga. Oh, I keep forgetting about that. There we go then. I am corrected. When the anti-roll bar goes in, we'll pick a camera up. Mm. So when that happens, I'll pick a camera up. See you, Mo. Well, I thought now wouldn't be the worst place to uh, pick up the camera because things have escalated a lot. That's obviously how it was. Drew all the spots out. Did a bit of cutting to get it off. And then that bit came off. And then found there's another hole. And there was a hole here. So, yeah. Drew it out all the spot welds that were there, holding that bit on. Now, drill out a few more. Pull this bit out, because there is actually a little hole just there. So, cut this bit out, so you get access to there. And then, start to fix everything. New arch, new cell. Yeah! I'm going to be doing this, not going to lie. Keep calling Dio, but just to sort of check I'm doing it right just in case because the whole point of me doing this is so then he can come over and just do bits so I'm sort of going in front of him and doing bits and bobs so I'm gonna crack on and just getting a bit more of this lot done I'll probably put you on a little time lapse and you can watch one of us hello you can watch one of us get on with something. So I'll get on with that and I'll see you in a moment. There we go, back again. Should have really picked a camera up sooner, but we had a few customers in. I didn't really want to be chucking cameras in their faces, but I have been busy. I have cut that bit of rust out and made a pack. Well, that's only a simple one, but I am happy with myself for that. Now, tackle this one, which is the next job. which will be fun. I have gone underneath and uh, well, you just, yeah, you just actually cleaned all the rubber off of it. And I'm now gonna actually make the patch, which I've got the metal over there. Like I said, I wish I would have picked a camera up a bit sooner, but it was people's about and I didn't want to be weird. John's got the subframe out and yep, yeah, it was that side. Already poly the top on. So there's the top arm done. And he is now on the other arm, on t'other side. How are you enjoying this? Actually not that bad. It's a lot of work for a couple of bushes, eh? Do this one. And four more to do. And then four are the fun four. Ready? Ready? Yeah. 
It's like it's giving birth. Bush. Mr. Namo is making progress. Well, I'm going to carry on doing what I'm getting up to. I just thought I should really continue the fun. In fact, I might put you on a time lapse. You can have a little cheeky watch of what Mr. John was up to. How's that? There you go. I'll leave you in the capable hands of him. It's a shame the camera angle isn't a little bit better because this is just John pulling out the last of the bushings, unfortunately. As it always goes, the last bushing was the most awkward, so I come over to give John a helping hand, slash annoying. There we go, so we've now finished for the evening and I completely forgot to finish the video. But that's done, this bit hasn't actually been finished, because it's supposed to go there, but I can do that. That panel needs to go there. That panel needs to go over there, but that's all ready for die now. At least it's sort of more ready for him than it was. There's the old scrap. So that is diddly done. As you've seen in the other part of the video, me and John, well, mainly John, the bottom arm. And then... This bottom arm has now got all the poly bushes actually and we did struggle to get this one out but it's all done now. And then all he's got to do is one more arm which is that arm that goes on there and then that will be completely done. That can go back in the bottom of the van and then it'll be fully poly bushed. That van will be going over there because it's also having a stereo system put in and whatnot. So hopefully that will still be here next week when I get here. John's motorhome's in. We haven't actually touched this thing yet. We haven't done anything to it other than just move it in or out. And we did discover that the tarpaulin that we put over top of the roof, because of those roof bars you can just about see, kind of, because of them, it was causing a bit of uh, water collection. So we've had to remove that and then, yeah. But unfortunately, we haven't done a wonderful amount. It is fully on bore bits now though and six inch springs which is pretty cool but that's going to be the end of that i'm going to go put this down we're going to get ourselves gone hopefully you've enjoyed this if you have please give us a massive thumbs up anyway we're going to get gone thank you for watching thank you for putting out of our damas and as always take it easy